Oh yeah, what's going on guys? So I did not want to post this video and make you guys wonder what what is this video? But let me a little insight and in how I shot the video. So this video is made for a local company, Etch Steel and Vinyl. They make custom stainless steel products, handmade of course, which is kind of cool, which is very cool. But I'll leave you a link down in the description below and you can check them out. But how I shot the video is a little more interesting because look, Canon M100 say what? Yes, so this is a Canon M100, you know this camera if you followed me, and I have uh, links above if you want to check out this camera, it's a lovely camera, but yes, Canon EF, 100mm lens, red ring, oh yeah, this is a Pro Series, L Series glass, you know, Canon's best, and to mount this lovely lens to the M100, I have this Canon EF to EFM lens adapter, so people have asked me, what can I shoot or, you know, like, what can you shoot with these Canon mirrorless cameras? And honestly, anything. And this is a little sample of what you can do with these cameras. So, I shot this video with the Canon M100 and a Canon M6. The Canon M6 was a wide shot. You'll see it. I had a 11 to 22 millimeter EFM lens mounted to that camera. But Canon mirrorless cameras are... They get better with better glass, of course, of course. But yes, enjoy this video, guys. Leave a comment down below, you know, you know what to do. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you next Tuesday, Thursday. So I'm going to try to get back on my usual Tuesday, Thursday routine. So more videos coming from Mr. Bindong. Oh, yeah. Enjoy the video, guys. Enjoy the video. Hi, I'm Angelica. And I'm Carlos from Edge Steel and Vinyl. Our company makes custom hand-etched metal products. Our major product is stainless steel tumbler mugs, but we can etch almost any metal surface. The entire process is done by hand, making every one of our pieces unique. In this video, we want to share the process from start to finish and give you an up-close view of the whole experience. Once the order is received and the mock-up art is approved by the client, the process of creating the mug begins. Using the stencil cutting software, I draw up the images that will be etched into the mug and send it to the cutter. After all the stencils have been cut by the machine, I hand trim them to separate each stencil individually and add transfer tape. Next, I have to clean and mark up the mug to make sure the stencil is applied and centered and straight. I mark the center of the stencil and begin to align it with the marks I put on the mug. Once the stencil is appropriately lined up with the marks, I press down, apply it, and carefully remove the transfer tape. After the stencil is applied and is confirmed to not be crooked, I begin a process called weeding. This is to remove the positive parts of the stencil that will be etched into the mug. I use a sharp picking tool to remove the pieces, but I also must be cautious not to scratch the surface of the mug, as they can sometimes show up even after etching. Finally, I use painter tape to cover the edges of the mug around the stencil, so while it is getting etched, it doesn't accidentally mark spots that it shouldn't. At this point, my part is done with the mug, and I hand it off to get etched. Once I receive the mug, I give it a final one tour to make sure everything is straight and properly adhered. After confirming everything is ready to be etched, I put on my rubber gloves and respirator mask ready for organic vapors. I then proceed to prep the etching device by applying a cotton pad saturated etching solution. I power up the device and clip the positive terminal to the mug to create the anode of the electrolysis circuit. When I proceed to etch, it is a very tedious process to make sure that I apply the device consistently throughout the stencil. Not doing so can result in uneven colors throughout the design. The first pass is to establish a base etch, and then after this is complete, I change the pad. The common pad of etching solution has to be changed throughout the procedure due to iron hydroxide precipitate formation during etching. This precipitate inhibits the reaction also resulting in uneven color. Once I decided the color is even and the etch is complete, I then remove the stencil and buff the surface with a rough pad and alcohol to clean and polish the design. Lastly, neutralizing oil is applied to protect the etch. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed the backstage view of creating these hand etch mugs. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, or even one made as a gift, you can contact Etch Steel and Vinyl at etchsteel.com or through any of our social media sites.